I'll be joined by the head coach of the Providence Friars, Ed Cooley, as well as Providence student athletes, Emmett Holt and Jalen Lindsay. Ed, if you like, you can make an opening statement uh, before we open the question, uh, floor for questions. Well, congratulations to uh, USC. Uh, advancing and moving on is what this tournament is all about. I thought the second half, uh, we just we didn't play harder. I thought they played harder than us in that second half. I thought they were tougher. Um, you know, I think some of our early miscues gave them some energy. Uh, and I just didn't think we were tough. I, I saw a totally different team in the second half that we had in the first half. And when we weren't scoring the ball, I thought we got a little frustrated. But again, credit uh, USC, they did a good job. Really, really frustrated with how this game ended. I thought we controlled it for most of it. But, you know, in tournament play, you got to play a complete game, and we didn't. So we're going to take ourselves home and brush ourselves off and look forward to next season. Questions for Emmett and Jalen only right now. Yeah, here on the left on the aisle. Jalen, can you just speak of any defensive changes that maybe they made in the second half, or was it more, you know, your execution in the second half? <clears throat> Honestly, like Coach said, I think it was we just got out tough in the second half. Um, we weren't playing with that same passion we were in the first half, and it showed. And they executed, you know, their game plan, and, and we've kind of faltered back. But, um, you know, props to USC for, you know, doing well in that game. Tim, on the left. Yeah, Jalen Larry, uh, when they kind of went to that big look, you know, with those three big guys in there, which they haven't really, according to their coach, you haven't showed all year. I haven't watched them, uh, you know, very much. But uh, did that did that surprise you guys? Did that take a little bit of adjustment? Uh, what did you see in that in that in that run? Um, well, we're a real versatile team, so usually when three bigs are in, we uh, look to take advantage. But um, I think they uh, pounded the ball inside. Uh, they got a couple calls, and uh, they just went their way. Yep, here on the left on the aisle again. Uh, Jalen, were you surprised to see zone in the first half? Uh, obviously, you had some pretty good looks in the, in the first half. Uh, we, we weren't surprised by the zone. Um, we kind of figured they would. And we prepared for it, and, and we tried to execute it. And I think we did pretty well against which they had to come out of it and, and start playing man. But um, we weren't surprised. We were, we were ready for it. In the second half, obviously, they didn't show a lot of that. Yeah, because we were kind of you know, slicing the zone up in the first half. So they figured to change something up, and it worked. So. Yeah, sure, on the left. Um, maybe for Emmett, um, obviously to get outscored by 20 in the second half. Uh, how do you take this into the off season? It's a tough way to lose. Uh, yeah, it's a tough loss. Um, we just got to learn from it. Um, we got to do all the basic stuff, uh, work on our dribbling, our free throws, passing, all that good stuff, um, and make a run at it next year. Any further questions for our student athletes? Emmett and Jalen, thank you for your time. Congratulations on your season. Uh, questions now for Coach Cooley. Yep, here on the left on the aisle. Ed, was there any changes that they made in the second half that, that you just didn't adjust well to? Well, they played us, man. I mean, we prepared for both. We weren't surprised by the zone in the first half. I mean, they played us all basically all zone last year, and I thought our guys did a good job executing, moving the ball. In the second half, the ball didn't move that way. I thought we took some quick shots. I think we missed. I think we had three out of four possessions where we turned it over. I don't think it was anything they did that was special. They guarded man. They switched. You know, uh, and then when they went big, I think they got second and third shots. Of their length in front of the rim uh, was was really effective for them. Um, but I don't think it was anything they did special. Uh, we, we missed shots, and they made some shots. I thought we got lazy defensively in the second half when I was really shocked at that, uh, given the time and score of this game. Turn left again. Uh, Kyron, uh, throughout the game, it seemed as if he really didn't find his gear. Is that more McLaughlin, or um, I, again, he just he wasn't the normal Kyron? 
I think McLaughlin's a great player. You know, I, I think uh, that team will go as he goes. You know, we talked to the team about that. I mean, he's the guy that steers the entire program. Uh, really, really good basketball player. He can beat you in a lot of different ways. Um, and I, you know, Kyron didn't have one of his better all around games, but I, I don't think you just put that on one person. Uh, although he has a lot to do with our success. I just didn't think as a group, we were fundamentally sound the last 20 minutes in order to advance in this tournament between a lot of different things that happen. Hopefully if we're in this situation again next year, I do a better job preparing my group. Um, those kids are in there hurt and I'm proud of our group this season. Uh, I think we had a, a a year no one expected. Um, I thought we did some great things in this game, but you know, in, in tournament play, you can't have the mistakes we've shown in, in advance and expect to win. Any further questions for Coach Cooley? Thanks. Yeah, thank you.